Phillips Academy Merger Society has been called to order. First item on the agenda are uniforms. There should have been a tag clarifying they were dry clean only. It's not my fault. They were hand embroidered robes from the 70s. Dry clean only should have been implied. You know what? It's too late. Alice, do we have enough in the budget to buy new robes? Sorry, no can do. We need all we can pull together. We can there. Well, I guess we don't get cool robes anymore. Because secret society is even fun if you get cool robes. But whatever. Ooh, ooh. In case anyone was wondering, the bees are adjusting really well to their new queen. Life in the hive is happy and healthy. <laughs> nice, dude. You do realize we aren't really a bee club, right? The bees are dying, Hadley! And without the bees, who's going to pollinate the avocados? Have you ever thought of that? No avocados means no guacamole! No guacamole! Dude, that's a point. I mean, I really like the little guys. Did you know that when a bee stings you, <laughs> it dies? I mean, how metal is that? I agree. The more we take care of the bees, the more money Capano gives our club. More money means more robes. Ugh, why the bees can stay. Does anyone have any more things to bring up? I do. Those idiots over at Tub have had three articles in the Flicken this term alone. We've only been mentioned for that time in the library bathroom. They aren't half the society we are. They don't even have robes. I mean, to be fair, neither do we. <laughs> hey, Hats, how's it going? Don't call me that. Uh, they something kind of hectic since uh, I was named editor's assistant, assistant coffee girl over at the Philippian. Um, I've been learning a lot of things. Like, for example, this weekend I saw Avery. You know Avery? She is... <laughs> She has the best gluten-free cupcakes in all of the Philippian. I'm pretty sure she's gonna get named Head Coffee Girl, even though I've been working so much harder than her. And she's just like really, really great. Anyway, as I was saying, I saw this file on her desk that was talking about all these weird ritual sacrifices in the 80s and in the sanctuary. But what I'm saying is the real stories with all these secret societies popping up all over campus, and that's the real news. That's what's important. That's what's going on. What? Secret societies. You know, uh, Tub, M M SAS, you know. Who's Don't to say that's it? Well, you know, have you heard of any other ones? Ugh. Bye. I swear, I didn't know f tennis rackets were flammable. What? Nothing. You little rat! That was a rental! No, no. If you children are finished, we have business to attend to. No one knows who we are. I'm tired of being invisible. We need to do something. Something big. Finally, that's what I've been saying. Oh my god, I've got it. We're listening? We kidnap a fact rat. What? No! I mean, there are no bad ideas in brainstorming. Why don't we just do it? I don't know. I think kidnapping counts as a bad idea, dude. I don't see you coming up with anything better. This is gonna be a long day. Academy. 
great. Now we're gonna be shut down before we can do anything. I didn't even get to haze anyone. I'm sorry guys, this is my fault. No, this is not the end of us. I have an idea. Does this look like toothpaste to everyone? Probably. I found it on the ground. <laughs> Can we not use it, please? <laughs> Shout out to assistant director Beatrice Rusko for eating toothpaste off the ground. Thank please, you, Beatrice. Please, Joe, that looks like a bullet. No, I think it's toothpaste. Beatrice, I think you shouldn't eat it. <laughs> I think, I think that sounds like the plan. No, Beatrice! It's toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> Me! For sure. Don't eat it! <laughs>